arrived in Takiski, Japan. <laughs> There's Paulette staring off into the distance because she's lucky. And all this stuff. Lots of stuff. Took this park into a Mercado here. Uh, and we'll go ahead and check it out. A bit of silver. <laughs> I have a little bit, but I wish I had a lot more. The pottery that you see. Copper. Copper things. Very beautifully done. Some nice uh, bracelets there. Cruising right along. About a thousand hats. Well, like a lot of these markets in Mexico, this one is small but it's got like a million things in it. I mean you could just spend hours in here wandering around. Pretty cool. One of the things I really like about walking around small towns and mercados is all of the color. Here we are in the center plaza. Um, as you can see, it's pretty much wide open. It is lined by trees in some areas. Each of these streets that we're looking down are lined with restaurants on both sides. Really very beautiful. Walking down some of the streets, some of the buildings are very beautifully painted, such as that pink one. Um, a lot of alleyways here, beautiful flowers. When you visit Tequisquiapan, make sure that you walk down as many streets as possible. Um, they don't all have shops or anything like that, but the housing is beautiful, the way that they've decorated on the outside of the house. There we are. Uh, this is one of the streets leading off of the central plaza. This is a Santa Maria de la Ascension Church located right off of the center plaza very beautiful so we're here on a weekday so it's not crowded from what we understand if you're here on a weekend it can be pretty packed and parking can be difficult This was a cool little boutique hotel that we discovered right off of the streets. Uh, the grounds were spectacular. We didn't get to look in any of the rooms or anything like that, so we can't attest to that. But uh, outside was just beautiful, as you can see. too funny <laughs> that was funny well what did you think of the royal treatment you just got I love it I love it I was paying attention to these boys right down here hi boys hi sweeties hi so this is another hardeen located here again beautifully done
what are your impressions so far? I think it's really cute. It reminds me a lot yeah. of Talaki Paki in uh, Guadalajara. Yeah. It's very cute. A lot yeah. of side streets, a lot of shops. I love shops. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's, and it's, it's uh, it doesn't have like the artsy scene like uh, Talaki Paki has, but it should. At least it seems like it should. Yeah. Uh, Tequisquia Pen is a beautiful place. Now, is yeah. this a Pueblo Magical? Yes. Yes, it, it is. is. Okay. And um, it's about a 50 minute drive from Centro Historical Cadetero out here, too. Okay. So it's a good afternoon deal if you want to come out. Uh, we're here on a weekday, so it's not that crowded. We've no. heard if you come on a weekend, uh, parking can be pretty hard to find. But. Um, I'm just totally blown away. I mean, I'm amazed by all of the color and it's adorable. The... It's a place that you guys really got to check out. It's yeah. it's well worth it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's adorable. It's quaint, but but big enough. Um, a lot of eating places. Um, a lot lots of, of shops. Uh, lots of vendors. Yeah. Uh, lots of greenery here. Parks. Um, a gazebo. Lots of walkable streets, even. Mm -hmm. Walkable so, streets. It's beautiful. It's a yes for me. It's a go. I would definitely yeah, highly recommend that you guys come and check out this area. Four thumbs up. Four from thumbs us. up from us. So, <laughs> I'd like to say thank you to our cameraman, Victor. <laughs> you can't see him, but you he's behind the him, camera for there. us. Um, so, anyhow, that, that's it from the two travelers in Mexico. We just wanted to share this wonderful place with you guys because uh, a lot of people don't know about little Pueblo uh, magicals, magicals. Like one, yeah, yeah like this one yeah and this is really adorable yeah gotta come here guys absolutely well worth the trip yep